Hello Stampin' Friends, this is Trenna Brower here today and we're going to do quick little 3D little gifts for Halloween because it's going to be about time to start doing it. They have the Hershey's Nuggets inside. These are really quick and easy to do. I'm going to be using the old um, Spooky Bingo Bits stamp set because it works great for doing this. Let me kind of just set some of this stuff to the side for right, right now, and we're going to just go ahead and start stamping. Let me make this just a little bit bigger for you. Okay, we're going to move these things to the side. Anyways, they just look like this with the little um, Hershey nugget in it. So let's just start doing some stamping here. I just have a sheet of um, scrap paper. We're going to use one of these guys from the bingo bits, spooky bingo bits. Let's use him. Ah, I didn't do a very good job of stamping him, luckily. We've got plenty that we can do. I'll just do a bunch here because I'll be doing quite a few of these. So, oh, I think I need to probably ink my stamp pad a little bit. There we go. And we'll do one more. Okay. Kind of put this off to the side, put up my stamp pad before I get my fingers all in it. And it's just a real easy thing to do. You're going to use your old um, punch. I think this was like the smaller one. It was um, the small, I think they called it a tag punch. So what we're going to do is just going to punch this guy about right here. Now normally I would go ahead and color him in while he's on this strip of paper, but uh, since I haven't done that yet, and we'll kind of just put him to the side. You'd know what I do coloring him in. So um, let me get to the actual making of the little um, piece of thing to do it. You're going to have a five by one or one and a half by five or five by one and a half um, strip of I use black. And you're going to score it at two and three inches, which I've already done. And then you're just really going to fold it up. And decide where you're going to put your guys. I've got several of them already done here to the side. I am going to go ahead and just stick them on there. Nothing fancy. And about, since I'm going to put a ribbon through the top, I'm going to put him about right there, her, as the case may be. And then I'm going to put some stick them right in the middle of that score piece because for me it's easier to go ahead and hook the nugget right while I'm doing this. So I'm going to stick that nugget in there. Doesn't have to be great. I mean for these to be opened. Then I'm going to take my crocodile and kind of use the bigger punch there. I like using my crocodile because it's going to go through everything all at once and I'm just eyeballing it. So there we go. And then get some, let's use green for this one. Let's get some ribbon. And you can do your ribbon however you like. I'm just making them pretty simple here. So do this. Do a quick tie. I like my tie at the front there. And double knot it and then it's pretty much done so there you go cut that off and you've got some cute little gifts for Halloween this one I'll probably add a little bit of bling up to the side this one you can see I had some old ribbon and I've just barely covered him colored him in and put a little bling right on where his eye is. This is another one, the same type of thing, colored in the spooky house and put some bling over that one room. This guy, same type of thing, didn't add any bling, didn't think he needed it. And same with this, a little bit of bling on her hat. Now I may add as I go along, since it's black, it won't hurt anything. I could add a little bit of the stars like I did on this to take up some of that extra space so I might do that but otherwise this is just a really quick cute little Halloween thing using our spooky bingo bits they all fit on there 
and of course the old small tag punch which was fun and just just because I had these sitting out all in my box for Halloween stuff this is another do you remember the old little purse things well made a purse maybe we'll do this sometime with the bat he's cute and can stick little goodies in there and then also this one using the old top note die just kind of did that add some more nuggets in there although chocolate's getting expensive but um, another cute little guy that we did a long time ago. So just wanted to show you these and thought it'd be something fun and easy for you to do for little gifts. Hold them up that way for you to see. And I hope you enjoyed this real quick little video. And we'll see you next time. Trenna Brower saying goodbye. Keep stamping and scrapping. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.